G'day guys, uh, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a door alarm from a simple home smoke detector. In front of us you can see we've got the uh, smoke detector. Uh, when you buy one it normally comes with a 9 volt battery. Um, but however you want to save some more money um, you can also try and find them at the hospice shop, the smoke detector that is. 9 volt batteries to buy them brand new. Um, you can get them in a double pack for like $13 odd dollars. Um, which is not too bad. We've also got speaker wire. We've got a simple on off button. It's a lamp button there. Uh, we've also got a magnet reed switch. Now uh, this one's a universal one. Um, <clears throat> it operates by normal closed and normal open. And the way this works is when we've got it wired up, when you break uh, the magnet uh, connection there when the door opens, it's going to trigger off the smoke detector. Some of the tools we'll be using, um, obviously we've got the uh, wire cutters there, that's just to strip back the end of the uh, tips of the wire so we can connect it between the button, the switch and the smoke detector. We're going to have to have to use a electronic flathead screwdriver, this is to open up the uh, smoke detector and obviously a drill uh, with its bit. Now this is going to be used to drill a hole in the smoke detector uh, which will then be able to fit this in and hold it secure on there. Right, so the first thing we've got to do is we've got to be able to uh, get into the back of this uh, smoke detector. Now as you can see, um, these things will have three lugs or connections uh, points of where the back is held onto. You've got uh, one there, you've also got another one there, and usually somewhere around here you've got another one there. Now in order to get these out, um, you can bite your tongue um, you can talk about it as you're trying to get it off and keep yourself calm um, or um, you can just try and do it gently as possible I usually just put it in there and I bring it back and that pulls it up it comes off pretty easy alright so we've managed to get the back off um, and you can see the uh, unit as it is exposed um, the points of interest that we're going to be working with um, with uh, making this alarm up is you've got to be able to locate the switch uh, which is right there. When you're pushing the test button that's going to push down and you might not be able to see it that well but there is a little strip wire there so when you push that tab down it's going to connect with that wire um, and it's going to sound off. And what we need to do is um, there's two cho choices here. Um, you could probably get a little drill, uh, drill a little hole in the top there um, and secure the wire uh, onto that. And there's a little bar of the wire there I spoke about before. Um, you can try and get a smaller flat, flathead uh, electronic screwdriver and just try and um, push it up just a little bit to get the wire in under there. Uh, the reason why I say this is because this um, board here that's in use, if you don't have the right soldering iron, um, you can actually transfer heat onto the board and it makes it useless. I know this because I've done it myself. Um, so just to try and stop you from wasting money from repeatedly buying uh, smoke alarms that um, you know, are inadvertently getting broken by the heat, um, hopefully that will help you out. So what we want to do is probably just take this board off so we can inspect underneath and see if we can actually solder the wire under there which would probably be the easiest point if you've got the tools. Right, so I've gone ahead, <coughs> I've uh, separated the um, PCB board from the housing of the smoke alarm. Now the points of interest that you want to look for uh, if you want to use the soldering iron is you're going to have to pinpoint the points of solder. So you've got the switch, this is upside down you've got the switch here as you can see when you push the test button it's going to create the circuit there and connect and make it go off so that would be one point you're going to have to solder one piece of a wire onto there the next point is on either one of these two possibly far away from this one um, I'd go on to that, that point there um, now the amount of wire needed for this you'd probably want about um, I'd say between 8 to 10 centimetres worth of uh, wire in its length um, and solder them onto there. Right, so the next thing we want to do is <coughs> we want to uh, locate a place to drill a hole because um, we've got to be able to fit this button in. Uh, we don't want to hang it off the unit, uh, we want it 
securely on there. So what we need to do now is just grab the um, the base of the smoke alarm and grab the top and just line it back up as if you were to put it all back together again but do not push down and click it into place because otherwise you're going to have to bite your tongue again and try and get that lid off. So basically just put it into where the lugs are, just locate it, locate it there and just there's going to be a brief gap uh, so what you want to do is just have a look through your ear with your eyes and see where the best possible place is to uh, place it. Now most of the uh, smoke alarms I've seen when I've done this is where the battery goes, the housing there, just above that inside lid there and the top there seems to be just enough room uh, to put the switch so that's where I'm going to uh, place this one. Okay so the wire that we're going to uh, go for first is uh, Oh, that I explained before uh, in the previous shot that's the wire that's coming off uh, the strip and it's going to the switch um, and then from the switch we want this uh, wire to go to the um, reed uh, magnet switch uh, and the channel we're going to use is NC for normal closed the other wire that's running off uh, the base and coming off that is bypassing the switch uh, is going to go to the COM um, screw there and we're going to put that on wires now uh, all connected up uh, hopefully if I've done it right um, this is going to work pretty good as you can see I haven't put it back together yet um, in the event that uh, I may have had the wires connected up wrong but here we go I'm going to separate the reed switch here as if it was uh, on a door or as if I'm going to be opening a door <laughs> 